and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my enamel pin collection because if you follow me on Instagram you would know that I'm quite obsessed with enamel pins, specifically enamel pins. Uh, I've collected quite a lot over the past year and I've got enough now and I've got a big enough collection to show you and I'm not planning on getting any more anytime soon so I thought I'd show you all the ones I've got in the past year I think I've been starting buying them. Um, they are quite in at the moment, pins are in, they're all over Instagram, the accounts that sell on our pins, they're so popular and they have so many followers, so some, some of these are actually quite difficult to find and some of them are sold out already, so I was really lucky to get all these pins. All of the places I got these pins from are online, so I'll link everything down below, including their Instagram accounts, because most of them I found them through Instagram or um, some friends have given me but they can also sell them as well so I'll leave everything below for you to check them out I'm gonna start off with my Disney pins and these are all still on their cards and I got these from Hong Kong and I haven't even touched them yet because someone told me that the clasps on the back of the Disney pins are quite rubbish and fall off a lot and I was really worried that they're gonna fall off and then I'll lose them so I'm a bit hesitant about putting them on my clothes so I don't know I will eventually I just won't have it on my like everyday one so the first one, if you saw my Disney Hong Kong haul video, you would know about these, but it's not. Um, I've got this set of cat pins, which is just perfect for me. Um, I like screamed as soon as I saw it in the store. So it's got six cats on it. So it's got Oliver, Lucifer, the Siamese cats from Lady and the Tramp, um, Figaro, Cheshire Cat, and Marie, which is the best pin ever. Um, I actually don't want to take it off of the card because it's got cats on it and an outline of Marie on the back there. It's amazing. The next is an like, official one which you can't really get in sort of like America or Paris because it's the Duffy franchise which is in Asia, Disney. And I got a Gelatoni pin because I did develop a huge obsession with Gelatoni because obviously he's a cat and this one's just so perfect. The last Disney one is a Madame Mim pin. This one's so perfect because Sword and Stone is like my one of my favourite Disney films, other than like the Disney Princess ones. I love Aristocats and Sword and Stone. So funny. Um, so when I saw this one, you, you can't get Sword and Stone much anywhere from what I've seen. And I saw this Madame Mim pin and I was like, well, I'm gonna have to get it. It's the only Sword and Stone thing in the whole of the park. Um, Madame Mim is hilarious, I love her, even though she's very grumpy and uh, when she says I hate sunshine, it's like, that's me when I just want to stay at home all day. <laughs> yeah, so that is Madame Mim. Moving away from Disney now, the next pin is this mint Game Boy and on the screen is the surfing Pikachu. <laughs> so cute. And the screen is all glittery on the background. And this one's from Cosmic Mermaid Pins and I found them through Instagram and their account's amazing. They've got loads of followers. So I'm really, really happy I found that account. And this is the pin that, when I have it on my denim jacket, everyone points it out and says, that is an awesome pin. Because, well, Game Boy and Pikachu is just so recognisable and everyone loves Pokemon and Nintendo. Um, yeah, so this is probably like one of my favourite kind of pastel coloured pins I have. The next one is so awesome. As soon as I saw this on Instagram, I knew I had to buy it. And this is an 11 from Stranger Things pin. And this is from Punky Pins. And they do so many awesome like character pins. They are so cool. I had to get this one just because I've cosplayed Eleven twice, and this one is, is so accurate to um, the actress Millie. It's awesome. It's absolutely perfect. I had to get this one. The next one is contributing to my obsession with Sailor Moon, and this is Sailor Venus's transformation pen. And Sailor Venus is my favourite, to be honest. And I and she's there. Oops, um, and Artemis as well. This pin is absolutely gorgeous. I normally put this one right on my pocket or just above the pocket and it's got two clasps on the back because if they're quite big they kind of spin around and go different places so it's good to have two um, clasps on the back of it. I love this one so much. Inside the Sailor Venus sign and on the handle it's um, all glittery in there as well. This one's so pretty. And this one's from The Lantern Girl, which I will link below. The next two is official merchandise from Paramore. Love Paramore. I'm going to see them live in January and I cannot wait. 
I've only seen them once and that was at Reading, so I haven't seen a full concert from them ever. I can't wait. Anyway, I've got two pins. The first one I got is their uh, logo, which is on their new album cover, and this came with the bundle pack I got with the t-shirt and their CD. So it's all a big bundle and this came with it as well, and I love it. It's so cool. The next one was newly released like a few months ago. It is a gold pin with the rose and it says Paramore Rose Coloured Boy on it, which is officially from their song Rose Coloured Boy, which is one of my favourite songs on that album. And when I bought this one, I also bought the t-shirt separately, which is a white t-shirt with Rose Coloured Boy, the same logo on the t-shirt. Their merchandise is awesome. Bands who do enamel pins, just, they're doing it right. <laughs> The next one is super super cute, it's a Perme pin, it's so cute, so it's a cat holding a shell with a pink mermaid tail or a permaid all together. This pin is from Berry Jammy Shop and she has an Instagram but it's not that name so the Berry Jammy Shop is actually on Etsy which is the link on her Instagram so that's how I found it. Mm, this one's so cute! Next is another cat one and it is a cat head popping. Oops coming out of an envelope with a heart on the envelope there. This one's so pretty. This happy little kitty pin is from Glitterpunk. Moving on to the last two now, which hold a very, very special place in my heart, and they are my favorite pins. Um, I've got two baby metal pins. Right, this one is the first ever pin I had, and it was on my denim jacket first, and I absolutely love it. Um, I was given this pin at the Wembley show last year by Sean, who is Sentimental Knight on Twitter. I believe he still has a few and he is selling them, so if you, I will, I'll leave his Twitter um, link down below. If you ask him, he probably will give you one if you pay for it. It's so tiny and cute, really subtle, just on a denim jacket or any kind of jacket you have. It's so nice, and I can't thank you enough, Sean, for giving me this at the concert. He was just giving them out, and loads of fans give stuff out for free, and it's just awesome. This is literally my favourite one. The next one is just perfect. It is the Baby Metal Kitsune face, which is the exact same one, the mask there. And this is by Christoph Says underscore on Twitter. Um, I can't thank you enough, Chris, for giving me this pin. He was giving these out at the Palladium show in LA. He posted a picture of all these pins he's gonna give out. And I tweeted to him, oh, I really, really want one, I'm so jealous. Then after the show happened, he messaged me saying that um, he can give me a pin for free. I was like, almost cried, I was so happy. So he sent me this pin and it's just perfect. Cool. And I think he still has some left. He has an Etsy account, so I'll leave that below just in case he still has ones on there. But this is absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's just perfect, perfect pin. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's really professionally done, I'm impressed. Also go follow him on Twitter as well because he's lovely. Okay, that is it for all my pins. Really hope you enjoyed it. I have, apart from the Disney pins, I actually have all of them on one jacket. So I've got a load this side and a load this side. And I just love it. You can never have enough pins. You can have them on any clothes. I even put them on my leather jacket like when I go out. It's just, love them. Mm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.